As you may know, uh, this symposium is organized by the former students of Professor Mukayama in order to honor his uh, lifelong outstanding contribution to the field of uh, synthetic organic chemistry in general, particularly to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the reaction which Professor Mukayama Professor Narasaka, Dr. Bano, discovered and reported in chemistry letters in 1973. The reaction has now become known as a Mukayama Aldo reaction. I really admire Professor Mukayama for a number of years. I would like to talk about uh, some of the supercidal chemistry, which I believe, based on Mukayama Aldo reactions, and try to open up a little bit, you know, the larger view of the chemistry. Professor Mukayama opened the door for me to think about uh, selectivity and stereoselectivity in particular. But around that time, we and of course others were beginning to think about catalysis. So what about catalysis? Chiral Lewis acids was the buzzwords in those days. And I thought of this one uh, in the middle of the 80s, of course inspired by Cram and also by Professor Noyori, by Knapp, etc. So it was kind of logical to make a compound of this kind. Mukayama Ardo reaction is powerful and high reliable for carbon-carbon bond homing reactions. About seven or eight years ago, we became very much interested in the design in this catalytic enantioselective aldo reaction of ketones using ketene trimethyl acetals. As you know, this type of catalytic cement carbon-carbon bond homing reaction is quite difficult we checked the initial formation of active intermediate from the thiobolonite and ketene by the spectral method. The sample was prepared directly in the NMR tube by introducing the gaseous ketene with syringe into the uh, carbon tetrachloride solution of thiobolonite at low temperature. I'll try to just emphasize and illustrate how powerful the uh, Mukayama aldol reaction, the boron enolate aldol reaction especially, is for the construction of these, these kinds of compounds. The uh, generation of the boron enolates, I, I think as we have already heard, this method is by far one of the most uh, celebrated methods of making, the, the simplest methods of making the enolates you have extremely high control of uh, the formation of the E or Z enolates, which is absolutely critical for the successful construction of the ensuing multiple stereocenters. Probably they prepare the tin triflate as a, during the examination of this glycosidation reactions, and tin triflate was actually in the chemicals of Stockholm. By treatment of the stannous triflate with ketone in the presence of tertiary amine, just in a similar manner to the bone triflate chemistry. Tin might activate the carbon and oxygen, and the alpha proton was more acidified, and the deprotonation occurs with tertiary amine to generate this tin to enolate, which might be applied to the aldo reaction and so on. It looks to me to handle the enol, of course, is very difficult, but if we handle Eno -sylo ether, -sylo eno ether is quite easy, and we can do the reaction, which is impossible on this one. I wanted to show the catalog of the reactivity of eno -sylo ether. That was electrophilic addition, free radical addition, cyclic addition. So, the Shersky dye was born in Pittsburgh, on June 23rd, 1974, only three weeks after I started the, the experiment. 
we could enjoy the chemistry and the scope and the limitation of this dyeing for several months. And then we went into the total synthesis and struggled with its application to the of the total synthesis of bornalipin. So I will recall some aspects of our chemistry achieved when I was at Nagoya. So, but before doing so, I touch a little bit on Japanese uh, chemistry in our uh, young days. Japan's organic synthesis in its history attained the uh, highest level by the global standard in the middle of 1980s, thanks to the uh, outstanding leadership of Professor Mukayama. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, uh, for coming to this symposium. I think it has been a very great honor uh, in honor of Professor Mukayama and also the celebration of the 40th anniversary of the Mukayama-Aldo reaction. Uh, thank you very much.